What's going on YouTube? It's Swig. I'm back bringing you guys the next episode in our Dark Souls 3 walkthrough series. So, um, my eye actually stopped itching there for a second, so I'm going to try to get through another episode without uh, going and getting a Claritin. I might have to after this one, though. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is um, kind of speed run through this. There are a couple items that I wanted to pick up such as uh, these two gold pine resins because if you didn't know Vort is, Vort's weakness is lightning so and actually real quick let's take off this stuff so we can uh, maneuver around better That health bar is looking really nice. <laughs> I'm not even going to grab that bonfire up top because uh, we won't need it. But there is a bonfire up there. But there is one uh, thing that we might actually need. Might actually need. I'm not sure if we'll need it or not. But uh, if you come over here and kill this, this twinkly lizard. Usually drops Twinkle and Titanite. I don't know why I called it the Twinkle Lizard, but uh, drops a. Um Gosh dang, that dude always almost shoots me in the back right there. I'm surprised he missed. I always forget about him, but we want to come in here and grab this shard. Nice, he caught me. And then we're going to run past this knight and grab. Um. There's a couple things down here. A shard and a, a Titanite shard and an Estus Flash shard. But here's some green blossoms and then the Stora Straight sword right here. It's actually a really good, um, if you apply raw to it, it can be really, really good. Alright, so what we want to do is jump down, grab that, go over there and get the shard. So. Oh gosh, it's always sketchy because of the dogs. And then those other guys hit like a tank. So we made it out of there alive. There is an ember right here we can grab. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and get the shortcut. Now if I didn't take any damage right there, I probably would have went ahead and got the banner. And went ahead and fought Vort, which could save, if you're not wanting to spend a lot of time in this area, it could probably save like a couple minutes, three or four minutes. And let's go ahead and pop some souls. <clears throat> and then for time's sake, we might just want to go ahead and... Uh, go back to the fire link and upgrade our shard. Man, the dogs in this game are freaking crazy. Got me. Alright, there we go. We can go ahead and upgrade our uh, Estus Flask at fire link if you want to. I will just because we pretty much went through Lothric uh, in about three minutes or four minutes. So, and you can do it super fast. Um, actually, we could upgrade our. Well, we're not gonna probably use the axe. I'm planning on either using the butcher's knife or um, I don't know what strength weapon I want to use, but I think it has an A scaling and strength, which is freaking. Pretty good. Now, if you get the store straight sword, you can actually apply raw to it right now and upgrade it for this fight. And then when you apply the lightning, it's even crazier. Let's go ahead and level up once as well. The bad thing is, I think strength requirement for the butcher's knife is 25. So instead of putting those points in vigor early on, I might should have put them into uh, strength. But any, 
it doesn't really matter that much. Because we'll, we're going to be going and killing Vort. We'll spend all those points on strength, and then when we kill uh, the Curse Rot and Great Wood, we will put all those points into strength as well. Our health is looking really good. And um, unless we get an unfortunate death, which, you know, in the Dark Souls series can happen very easily. Although I've been trying to work on my no death runs because right before Dark Souls 3 came out, like a few days, well, the Japanese version, right before the Japanese version of Dark Souls 3 came out, I no death uh, Dark Souls 2. And I really never, I, there was about two or three times during uh, the Dark Souls 2 life cycle, which I started on it late, so. Um, I tried a couple of times to no death Dark Souls 2, but I finally no deathed it right before the Japanese release of Dark Souls 3, so it was like perfect timing. And um, I've been working on my no death of this game, but really just trying to put some time into this game, learn it really good uh, before I really, really, really attempt a no death. Please don't shoot me. Sometimes can get really close to shooting you in the back right there. And that guy always tries to poke you almost. But you have to come in here and uh, in order to proceed to the next area, which you can get this before or after the boss, but just come talk to her and uh, she'll give you the small Lothric banner. <clears throat> which uh, enables you to be picked up by those... Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're the same creatures that pick you up in Dark Souls 1 to take you to Anor Londo from, um, from Sin's Fortress. Or at the top of Sin's Fortress after Iron Golem. But uh, before we activate this boss, actually, let me go ahead and equip all my armor. <clears throat> and that's a nice feature as well, uh, being able to flip through your menus like while you have this selected. Yeah, it really makes a difference. But, um, looks like we're good to go, so let's go ahead and activate the boss. Now, Vort, he has two stages, and his second stage he hits pretty hard, but, uh, his, his attacks, you can pretty much dodge them pretty easily. <clears throat> and we are just going to try to do as much damage before the second stage as possible. Or as quick as possible, so that we keep the uh, pine or the lightning over. And then here we go, We're going into second stage now. Just dodge, dodge, and then he'll take time to breathe his frost. So then you can just go up and whirl on him. Flawless, baby. That's how we do. Board is down. And we still have a resin. Ooh, we got a trophy too. So very nice. Sit at the bonfire and make the doors open up faster. <laughs> and we can go ahead and take off our equipment as we, uh, oh, not the ring now. As we don't need it for right now. And we get to look at the undead settlement. Oh man, it's beautiful. Be a UT fool. I remember on my first playthrough, I was screenshotting this like crazy. <laughs> this view. But yeah, those guys. And we don't have to watch this cutscene, but they just pick you up and take you down to Undead Settlement. So, super awesome. And that will uh, be where we leave off the this episode, guys. So, um... The, the video is fairly long, nine minutes so far, so um, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button if uh, you learned anything or you just enjoyed the gameplay, be sure to hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.